This is Hollywood. Matthias Bohmbell with you. Walt Disney Motion Pictures and Marvel Entertainment offer the latest comic book crowd pleaser, Captain America Civil War, from the director brothers that brought you Captain America Winter Soldier, Anthony and Joe Russo. The Avengers, a group of several humans with enhanced features and specialized skills or abilities, have wrought much havoc in past movies based on the Marvel comic books in which these colorful superheroes originate. This movie is really non-stop action from start to finish, which is mind-bending since it's on the screen and in 3D for a long 146 minutes. Right at the outset, action begins. Body armor, AR-15s. I make seven hostiles. I make five. Sam? Four. Rumlow's on the third floor. Wanda, just like we practiced. What about the guests? Get it out. <laughs> in that clip alone, you witness these actors turn superheroes. Chris Evans in the title role, Anthony Mackie as the Falcon, and Elizabeth Olsen as Scarlet Witch. International sanctions on these superheroes are demanded by the United Nations following the destruction of the building you just saw in that scene due to the loss of many human lives. The pressure is on to restrict the activities of the Avengers, and Captain America wishes not to cave to these pressures. Tony, if someone dies on your watch, you don't give up. Who said we're giving up? We are for not taking responsibility for our actions. This document just shifts the blame. I'm sorry, Steve, that, that is dangerously arrogant. This is the United Nations we're talking about. It's not the World Security Council. It's not S.H.I.E.L.D. It's not Hydra. No, but it's run by people with agendas, and agendas change. That's good. That's why I'm here. When I realized what my weapons were capable of in the wrong hands, I shut it down and stopped manufacturing. Tony, you chose to do that. If we sign this, we surrender our right to choose. But if this panel sends us somewhere, we don't think we should go. What if there's somewhere we need to go and they don't let us? We may not be perfect, but the safest hands are still our own. If we don't do this now, it's going to be done to us later. That may be the calmest moment in the picture. The additional Avengers, seen there, not introduced by me earlier in this review, were played by Robert Downey Jr., Don Cheadle, Scarlett Johansson, and Paul Bettany. If there's one thing that may be said for this picture, the cast is top-heavy with talent. Other masters of Thespis in this comic book action opera include Jeremy Renner, Chadwick Boseman, Paul Rudd, Martin Freeman, Marissa Tomei, John Slattery, Alfred Woodard, William Hurt, and as our villain in the picture, Daniel Brühl. Another fly in the ointment is actor Sebastian Stan, returning as the Winter Soldier, who may be programmed to follow suggestion simply by hearing a series of coded words to trigger his brainwashing, which our villain, Daniel Brühl, most certainly does with these divisive results for our heroes, as Iron Man, Robert Downey Jr., moves in to help. We're in position.
Please recognize me. That was Chadwick Boseman, who in other scenes looks pretty sleek in his black panther suit in this non-stop comic book orgy of action. I'm positive that it'll please Marvel comic fans who know and love these characters and eagerly await not only for the mandatory cameo from comic book legend Stan Lee, but linger to the end of the credit crawl, not to see just one, but two separate scenes that will foretell a future Marvel mayhem currently in production. There are many exceedingly popular movies in this vein from both the rival comic book concerns of Marvel or DC Comics, and they all suffer one major flaw, that of not being able to stand alone as a movie on its own merits. The producers, and a majority of the audiences for that matter, are sure to be invested in these stories and characters from past movies or comic books. They assume you already know all of the players. Imagine for a moment a movie patron, such as myself, who may not have ever read a comic book in their lives, but loves to see name talent doing what they do best, especially in such a major production full of the latest movie wizardry. That type of patron will not have any idea of who suddenly appears on a scene without any explanation or who or what they are. They are not developed as a character within the context of the movie's narrative. They just show up and start doing their thing, much to the delight of those in the know and that have followed the stories in previous movies or in the comic books themselves. Thus, from the perspective of a movie being a self-contained narrative, this movie will not work. It assumes you know what happened before and will be engaged to find out what's next. It dazzles you with loudness and action and shiny objects over its long running time, which, with all that time, does not let the great talent and cast have much dialogue to showcase their talents. Each action is in reaction to another bit of fast-paced movie wizardry. This is definitely a crowd-pleaser for the fans, but what moments from this will they remember and or cherish ten years from now? The Motion Picture Association of America has given this a PG-13 rating. This is your pal, Matthias Bohm-Bell, bidding you a fond farewell.